All right, fun little uh, side project today. We are building a tire plate. So, you'll need to go to your local tire shop. A lot of them have throwaway tires, but you actually need ones with the wheels still on them. And they need to be able to still hold air so that they don't just bend the ribs and such when you do it. Um, this is going to let you deadlift and lift weights off the forwards that are going to be a little higher than normal, uh, which is the kind of thing you'll see in strongman contests quite a bit. Uh, so first thing to do is grab those tires. Second thing is get you, I got a two and a half pound plate and a five pound plate right here. And you got to drill holes, make them even with the uh, wheel. I did a little bit of this drilling myself. I think I got one hole in like an hour. And since we have two tires and two plates per tire, it's going to take a long time to drill them. So just paid a fabricator just to, you know, not a lot of money to go get it fixed. Uh, so all said and done, these tires are going to be 57 and a half pounds a piece. And I think total cost was the tires and wheels were like 50 and I forget what the fabricator charged. It wasn't a lot though. So some pretty solid pieces of equipment, pretty cheap. So I'll get them built and show you the different steps. All right. So here is what it'll look like when it's uh, bolted in there. Um, I don't have them tightened down yet, but I got two and a half inch bolts these whoop, where we go these dudes right here two and a half inch ten of them and then ten of the little washer dudes half inch so two and a half inch by half inch and then some uh, self-locking nuts you can have the other ones just put some loctite on but I'm lazy and prefer to do less things so just got the nuts with the uh, stoppers built into them 